Happening this morning, the city of Jacksonville will kick off a two-day event. It's aimed at helping homeless veterans get back on their feet. Really important in this military town. So it starts with a job fair at the fairgrounds. And that is where we find News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding live this morning. So Ashley, more than 35 businesses will be out there to offer jobs. And there are a lot of jobs out there. There certainly are, Melanie and Bruce. Good morning to you both. And those employers include Walmart, Amazon, Bank of America, just to name a few. And now it does start this morning at the Jacksonville Fairgrounds. And I talked to a veteran services officer with the city of Jacksonville who says the number of homeless people is creeping up right now. And that's why it's important for these people to know where to go to get these services and this help. We want to make sure our homeless population realize that they haven't been forgotten. As a military veteran, Travis Sims understands the struggles some face as they settle back into civilian life. Tragically, some heroes end up on the streets. That's why Sims says intervention is key. Well, we want to thank them for their services, and, and, and sometimes we just want to make sure that they know that there's places they can go. Uh, to, to receive assistance, to hang out with other veterans. Starting today, those veterans in need will get their chance. Sims says he expects about 100 homeless vets to come out to the fairgrounds. And then at Saturday's Stand Down event, they'll get other help like dental and medical care, readjustment counseling, spiritual counseling, and food and clothing. Sims says it's important to recognize the need in the city. We see our numbers of kind of sort of increased over the last year, and that may be affected by COVID, but uh, we at one point had the numbers going down, but now we've noticed that they're going up, and they're not going up significantly, but they're going up enough to where we should be concerned. And Sims says this is also a chance for vets to make new, lasting friendships. A lot of veterans just want to sit down and talk to other veterans and tell their story. So we try to connect them with other veterans as well as, like I said, those resources that's out there. And uh, it's been very successful for us. Helping lead our nation's heroes to a brighter future. And the address for the fairgrounds is 510 Fairground Place. Of course, that's in Jacksonville. Today's job fair lasts from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Tomorrow's stand down event is from 9 until 2. Now, Sims also said typically over this two day event, the city helps around 200 to 250 veterans. To see all that information, we're going to post that on our website, newsforjax.com. Again, it starts at 10 o'clock this morning. Reporting live, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.